Good morning, everyone. The sun is just popping up. It looks like it's gonna be a beautiful, beautiful day. I'm so excited. I just woke up, like, just out of bed. Just put my contacts on, and I haven't even brushed my teeth yet, so I'm just so excited because we're gonna go for a surf. And the fridge is so loud, I'm sorry. There's a lot of noise happening, but I just wanted to say good morning. Today's gonna be an epic day. There's gonna be a lot of surfing, a lot of good times. This is like one of my favorite dreamy surfboard waves, longboard waves, team size waves. So bright. I'm so excited. It's gonna be a good day. slimy today from wearing so much sunscreen I'm like looking in the viewfinder in this corner and I'm like I'm shiny but check it out the sun rise it's beautiful the sun is coming up it is so beautiful the sunrise is gorgeous wow it's so calm and ready for me you can already tell today is going to be an amazing day Oh, I'm so slimy. It's actually hilarious, but it's good. I'm protected from the sun, which is really important. But for now, I'm going to sip some coffee. I am going to go get ready, but I'll see you guys out in the water.
Mr. Gecko. Hello. How are you? Oh, I am just chilling. I'm so somber. I was actually freezing out in the water. Everyone else in the water was complaining it was cold too. It was so cold out there, but I'm so sad about my board. The guy, ugh, the guy just like got in my way. Why, who does that? Like you're already on the wave and then they like get in your way. And then now I have a hole in my board. I guess it's the end of my trip. All right, let's go check out the board and I will talk through what really happened. I am legit so sad. Like it wasn't like I got in someone's way or anything that I could have prevented. So that makes me even more sad that there is a hole in my board because there's nothing I could have done. And, and the worst part, I have to tell Dan, my shaper, that there is a hole in my board. I hope he's not mad at me. Check it out. There it is. Oh my God, that's so bad. Ew, it's so bad. It makes me so sad. Basically what happened is that I was paddling for a wave and I was totally on the wave and then some guy was just like sitting in front of me and like didn't move, like literally just didn't move and then I tried to get out of the way and it just like was not happening and he like till the very end did not move and the tail of his board, which is the very back of his board, like scraped the bottom of my board. And I knew it. Ha I knew something went wrong, like right then. But the wave was good, so of course I'm gonna keep going. It's not like I'm gonna go out and yell at him. Cause that's not me. And there's nothing you can really do. I mean, at that point, like, even if I got, was angry, like, what is there actually that I could do? Cause at that point, I was like, this is the. This is it. It's over. My trip is over. I guess I could like duct tape it or something, but it's okay. I've had a good go. So. I'm gonna take it as like it was good that this happened because I need a break, but deep down I'm sad. Poor board, it's so beautiful too. So gnarly. It's so sharp too. My shaper, Dan, is here. Hey, okay, I have some really bad news. Uh-oh. Like he's already looking. She got a ding. <laughs> okay, it's like not really my fault. I was paddling for the wave and the guys he like didn't move and then like his tail just attacked my board. Yeah. I was telling them I'm so nervous. I was like, what is Dan going to say? He's going to be so mad at me. Right. <laughs> okay, come, come. <laughs> <laughs> okay, actually I made him sound like way more meaner in my videos, but he's actually so nice. But look how sad this is. I came out of the water and I was like, so sad. Well, we're in Mexico, so that'll cost about 25 bucks. <gasps> really? That's it? That's what they charge. Oh. Yay. Yeah, it's not So, bad. are you mad? No. I don't <gasps> yes. care. You should see what I do to surfboard. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's best shape forever. Thanks for not being mad. I was so worried. <laughs> It's been really, really fun being able to watch Dan surf. He's actually so freaking amazing at surfing. So it's been really fun. I'm so sad about my board. Uh, oh no. Okay, well, let's just check the waves real quick now that we're downstairs anyway. Look at the lineup of boards. Like there's so many long boards. It's so sick. This is like long board heaven. Looks so good. It's like peelers. Mellow left long peelers and ah, low key wish I was still out there. A little bit windy, a little bit windy, but still looks so much fun. I'm a huge surf frother and like when it's Tina size, it is so exciting for me to be out there. But I can't get out there. I mean, I could always like rent one of these boards. There is a bunch of Dan boards too. Like there's a Dan Cobbly, that purple one's a Dan Cobbly, the bright ones, like the blue one's a Dan Cobbly. There's a bunch, but like I said, it's probably like a sign, like for me to like chill out, relax, and it's probably time to go home. Like, I feel like I've been here, I've been surfing a lot. I need a break, I need a break. I hope you guys have been enjoying it, by the way. I feel like I'm so excited that I brought you here with me. We have a good time, we had a good go, but I think it's time for me to pack my bags. 
All right, goodbye. <gasps> goodbye, Mexico. Let's go back home, let's go on a journey, let's pack up, and I'll take you on the travel back home. Call it a day. Scone. Such a beautiful day. I love that I get to come home to this. So nice. It is morning and a different day. I got my sleep in, which is huge for me because I'm always so tired after traveling. So I'm glad I got to relax, get that out of the way. I actually unpacked, but we are gonna go on another adventure. So I'm gonna go back up to the house and pack and our next vlog is gonna be somewhere really, really fun. And honestly, something I've never done before. I've never been able to like travel and do something that's for work that's like for me. Like I am very, very grateful for the life I have because I mean, Jamie with all of his sponsors, including my sponsors, like it's a lot of, a lot of traveling, a lot of fun stuff, but for a brand to actually send me somewhere to get some content, this doesn't happen that often and I am so excited that it's happening which means some fun stuff is coming up and you guys are coming along instead of Jamie coming along I'm actually only traveling with a filmer so I'm taking Peter with me you guys know Peter aka Alex and he's absolutely amazing so him and I are gonna go on this trip but before I leave this vlog this week I did want to let you guys know that we're gonna go on something fun and exciting next week so stay tuned Saturday's gonna be fun which is why you should subscribe hit that notification bell you guys are the best and I want to give a massive shout out to Jamie for taking me on that trip because without him helping me out, getting me to that perfect longboard wave, I wouldn't have gone. And like, that was the best trip ever, you guys. I am so grateful that I have a boyfriend that takes me and, and just supports me in different ways. Like I never thought I would ever have someone that would take me like on an actual longboard, like a surfing trip that's like for me like we do a lot of trips for Jamie for sure because like that's his thing like he's a pro surfer we travel we do that like, like that's just makes sense but like for him to go out of his way to go on a trip that's for me I just I can't but I just want to bring you down to the beach show you guys how beautiful it is because it really is so nice and this next trip we're gonna go somewhere also very very beautiful very very tropical <sighs> I'm so excited to take you along with me okay I'll see you again next week, Saturday, 9 a.m. Hawaii Standard Time, so you guys know the drill. Per usual, hit that subscribe notification bell. And comment below if you guys like this video. And I love you guys. I hope you guys are smiling wherever you guys are because you guys are all amazing. Okay, so usually at the end of my videos, I put something really funny because it's like entertaining, like the bloopers or like a joke. I mean, I love it. But today's video, I just came back on here because I forgot to mention, I'm not really supposed to mention yet, I guess, technically, but I'm launching something on May 1st. That is the date as of now. I'm trying to, I'm, tr I'm trying to make sure it's the first and I'm so excited. You have no idea and I know you, you've been waiting for this I'm so excited I don't know like I probably shouldn't be talking about it yet but like I'm talking about it because when I'm excited about things I want to make sure that you know because you live a part of my life that's like you're you're meant to know things like we don't got no secrets so I feel like something really 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 exciting is gonna happen May 1st it's launching I've been working on it for like years like not like years like actual years literal years I wish I could tell you more, but I feel like if I do, I'm gonna ruin the surprise. And like, I want you to be surprised because this is huge. And I know you are gonna be so excited. So this whole end bit, I guess I'm not telling you much, but I am launching something May 1st. 
it's so exciting and as time goes by in April I'm going to give you guys more and more hints do not worry but I'm so excited <laughs> you guys are gonna be so happy I promise you you are gonna love it and I'm gonna make sure that I explain everything soon I promise I promise I promise but May 1st put that in the calendars put that in your notebook put that in your planner something's happening you're gonna be happy about it I promise I promise so excited yeah. for you to know especially i'm so excited for your guys reaction you guys are gonna love it yay all right fun stuff coming fun stuff coming and you're a part of it all right